roly poly moly guacamole. It's Will Survives and I'm Scooby Doo Bob Bat with another one. Hey, hey, oh yeah, drink up, little buddy. What's up? Oh yeah, stretch it out, stretch it out. I should probably go check Jesse's house, huh? I got the those canvas tarps a day late. What's up, Frank? What's up, buddy? Frank doesn't want to be out there. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Oh, man. Neither does Hoop Dog. Wow, you guys are so cool, bro. You guys really, uh... No, I don't want to be out there either, actually. What am I talking about? All right, it stopped raining. Gonna go check out Jesse's house. And see how that's doing. So happy that there's mud again. That's sweet. And I'm honestly glad it rained. It's a good little tester before Jesse sleeps in it. You know what I'm saying? Got the tart with me. What's up, guys? Now I'm kind of pissed because I got three-fourths the way here. Realized I didn't grab the tarp. Went and grabbed the tarp. Came back. Just realized I don't have the drill. It's in the cabin. But this is how it turned out. Couple drops right there. Uh, wow. Completely dry. Completely dry. Completely dry. That's good. Wow. Wow. That's that's beautiful. These get wet? Yes. Little bit. Little bit. I only did mud up to here. I don't remember why. But I'll fix that. Sweet. Big money. And uh, I just realized that I was uploading that last YouTube video right now on this phone and I just messed it all up by going over there with it. So I'm going back. Gonna, holy moly. I don't know. Guys, should I go do it and not film? Or should I wait and then go do it and film? Frank's beating hoop. Let's go, Frank. Woo. Oh man. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Hi. What's up? Guys, it's been extremely windy. Um. Damn, the tank got messed up, dude. Oh, great. That is 20 feet in the air. Don't know how I'm gonna get that. Shit. Okay, what's up, Frank? What's up, Frank? What's up, who? What's up, buddy? What's up, guys? Hey. Oh, I forgot to take a video. But I fixed it. Just a little, little power. It's it's broken now. I gotta clean all this up. This is bad. This is bad. Well, it's just been coming down all day. This uh, this weird frozen rain stuff. It's not even like hail. It's like soft hail. Know what I'm saying? But, uh, Frankie, hoop dog, guys, guys, I want to thank all of you guys so much for wanting to help me find Frank a home. 
I had about 200 emails with people offering to give Frank a home and my parents offered to give Frank a home and Derek and Sierra and there's just no way that I wouldn't be able to find Frank a home and so I appreciate you guys so much for making that possible. Obviously if I couldn't have found him a home I would keep little Frankie and give him the best life that I could but He's going to be way happier and way safer as an indoor dog, I think. The there's it's tough. I saw a lot of people saying I should keep Frank and give him a chance, but it's just not the smartest thing to do to have a puppy this size and with the amount of strength that he has living out here in the woods with all of the dangers out here. I have not a hard time, but I'm worrying about keeping myself safe, let alone a puppy, let alone a puppy that's nine pounds and may not get any stronger. I have to constantly watch Hoop and Frank so that Hoop doesn't go too hard on him and to make sure that he's not wandering off into predator territory. I have a following and I have the opportunity to give him a better life. That is why I'm going to be rehoming him with Derek and Sierra. Lucky thrives, baby. Derek and Sierra love little Frankie and don't want to see him go to a stranger's home where we might never see him ever again. Along with his brother Andrew and his girlfriend Kennedy, they they really like Frank and want to give him a chance living at their place. Frank is going to have seven brothers, seven other dogs, um, a nice warm home, chickens and rabbits to look after. He is basically going to be living the life of a great Pyrenees, just at a way smaller, safer scale. And I think it's a great option. I would keep him for a little bit and see how he does. And then if it doesn't work out, if I have to go to Alaska or I have to get rid of him, I could rehome him. But I just don't want to get too attached to Frank. I mainly don't want Frank to get too attached to me. And then I'd have to rehome him. I want to do it as quickly as possible so he can get adjusted to his new life without ever having to worry about changing homes again. The person that sold me Frank honestly did not know um, that something like that was wrong with him. He did tell me that Frank was born October 1st. I had just chose not to believe him. But he called me up and offered to take Frank back and give me my money back. So anyone in Mora that knows the homie, he's, he's the homie. He was... He wasn't trying to scam me or nothing like that. Frank and, or Frank, Derek and Sierra are going to make sure that Frank lives a happy life. And now I can make sure he lives a happy life and all of you guys can make sure he lives a happy life. I'm sure that um, you guys will be getting Frank updates on the YouTube. And little Frankie will be able to visit whenever he wants. Again, guys, I appreciate all of you so much for helping me make this happen. We were able to get Frank a home. He could have never, never got a home in the last spot. If, if someone who was smart was going to pick him up, they could have maybe noticed he was a runt when they picked him up. So I'm glad we get to give Frank a loving, happy life. And it was all possible because of you guys. Much love. Frank does seem to enjoy inside a little bit more than outside. Oops, oops out there somewhere just taking it. I don't even want to go out there and see what he's doing really. It's, it's coming down. It's coming down crazy right now, guys. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Shit. 
What were you doing out there? What were you doing out there, buddy? What were you doing? Hi. Hi. Hey, bud. Frank, it's Hoop. What's up, guys? Shit. I'm taking little Frankie to Lucky Thrives tomorrow. Sierra's already working on a little inside spot for him, and Derek's going to be working on an outside spot for him with the chickens and rabbits. Hoop still needs a buddy to play with. Uh, so I'm looking around for uh, another Pyrenees puppy being way smarter about bringing home a puppy now. You guys got to trust me. I have learned from my mistakes and will be smarter moving forward. Also going to be looking for a puppy for Jesse. Jesse's getting back on the 6th. Uh, hmm. I got lots in store, guys. Want to start working on the farm. Build a chicken coop. Start working on the garden. Build some garden beds with a little greenhouse. Cover so hoop can't get it. Rabbits can't get it. Birds. I'm really sorry. I wasn't able to get a whole ton done in this video. I've, I've just been working on a couple other things that have been taking my time and I haven't been able to get too much sleep lately, letting the boys out in the night and waking up to deal with when I don't let them out successfully. But getting back on the grind, guys, there's so much stuff I want to do. A lot of people uh, helped me out with ideas for making it look cooler i definitely got to get that fence down and make a little wood fence and so many other things i gotta do the shed and then so many things make jesse's house cooler get the awning up on that so i am i am displeased with my efforts lately and uh, it's gonna change But guys, let me uh, read some of your guys' comments. Frankie. What's up, Frankie? <sighs> Dude, don't give up on Frank. He's just now starting to live a better life with you and Hoop Dog compared to where he was living. Trust me, keep doing what you're doing. He will get stronger and healthier and keep being a happy puppy. Maybe don't feed him as much. But I think you and Hoop could give him the best life a puppy could have. You give out so much positive. You never give up. Here's a big energy ball for y'all. Well, bam Ah, man. I appreciate you. Yes, uh, feeding him. I don't know what happened. I'm thinking possibly he did have something stuck. Blocking him from pooping. Because I guarantee he didn't eat that much in one day. But yes, he, uh, he is unlike Hooper in the fact that if there is still food, he will keep eating. Frank uh, definitely is one of those types of dogs that will not stop eating. I think that's a thing with Pyrenees. So yeah, I definitely got to monitor how much food I give him. But yeah, I think... Frank can have a happier life living with Lucky Thrives and he will still be able to visit the mountain whenever. Uh, Lucky Thrives and Sierra are great dog parents and I know he's going to be happy with them and safer. Buy a basin, washboard, and lye soap. I know what none of that is and do your laundry at the cabin. Oh, hmm. Okay. That sounds cool. I don't have water here, but if I'm doing laundry and that's going to be like a two, three hour project, 
there is a creek about a mile or two miles from here that I could go to with my clothes and wash in the creek. Hey, Frank. I'd probably end up doing it with just water though. Because I don't want to risk putting anything. But you do say eco-friendly light soap won't poison the ground. But let me know. No vet, but I feel like he has been suffering with malnutrition since the beginning of his life. And that with enough care, he would turn out just fine and strong. That is definitely a possibility. But he is way undersized. Like way too much he should be about 60 pounds right now and he is nine pounds but we are going to see guys i'm going to be feeding them good and then uh, when lucky gets them they're going to be feeding them good so we are going to get to see man reading all the comments it's just all you guys being so loving and supporting I appreciate you guys so much for everything, dude. You guys are by far the best community on any platform. And I'm just so blessed to have a group of people behind me like you guys that want to see the best for me and even my pets that I've only had for a few days. I don't take it for granted at all. I really, really do appreciate you guys. I know how hard it could be going through something like this without a group of people like you guys. And so, want you guys to know that I just really appreciate it for real. And I'm going to keep grinding for you guys. But guys, that's, that's it, guys. I'm going to get to work for real. It's not raining today. I've got a ton of energy. I got some good sleep last night, so I'm going to get it done. Are you guys ready? I have a ball of good energy in my hand, and it's really good energy. Whoopee! Did you feel it? Ooh, guys. Energy ball. Wa-bam! <laughs> Frank's energized now. He's going to grow up big and strong. Guys, have a beautiful week. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful right now. Guys, this video is over. Don't go click another video. Go do something. Anything else? All right. Willie out. Hey, hey, I make the glizzy flit right the string around the hood, wait for a tug and reel it in. Hey, I reel it in, looking out for bears, cause Willie eat the same food as him. I should probably buy what's though, but I can't find one on Craigslist and they expensive at the store. I'm in my bag, looking for the silky and the axe. I'm in the river, flipping rocks and stones. I'm looking for crawdads.